Their Cisco Nexus 6248 UP unboxing. UP is the unified ports where ports can be Ethernet, fab, uh, FCOE, or either channel, or, uh, port, or fiber channel rather. Those are the UCS. Fabric interconnect. This is basically a Nexus with additional features on top to support the UCS environment. It is based on the 5548 Nexus switch. Additional features. Well, the, I called it a Nexus uh, 6248. Yeah. Yeah, because I'm thinking it's great. It's based on this 5548. So it's a fabric interconnect, so this is what you connect to your UCS 5108 chassis, or if you want to connect your C-series Cisco switches, you need to connect a couple of 10 gig FEXs to it before connecting your rack mount servers to the FEXs. Uh, so you call wow. them C-series switches, so we're, so we're even now. You mean C-series oh, servers. C-series servers. <laughs> All right, here's my right to use for UCS Manager version 2.0 bunch of 10 gig port licenses. I think this is a 32 port 10 gig license model. And that's all that is. Yeah, the, uh, the 6248 also runs the UCS manager software. Right. And it does so. You, you have two in a system and you cluster them together. So on the back of the unit, you have Dual power supplies and dual fans. The console port, your management port. Your L1 and L2 ports are what connect to your uh, other fabric interconnect for the clustering operations. But not for data. It's nope. a common misconception that, it's, uh, that the fabric interconnects are connected at the data plane, but they're not. They're only connected at the control plane. Yeah. They're two independent fabrics as far as the data plane is concerned. Correct. Any traffic going to and from <coughs> or between fabric interconnects must do throw do so through your distribution or your core the front of the unit 32 fixed ports unified yeah. fixed ports correct and we have the 16 port add-on module that could be storage or uh, ethernet again you just unified ports unified ports but you do have to set them ahead of time so uh, you want to basically come up with a plan before you deploy because basically you're gonna move a slider and change some ports into storage ports. So you can basically do two, two, four, six, or eight. And then on this back plane here, you're also going to do the same. You either all have all ethernet or you're gonna uh, provision storage ports from the back to the front. And when you do so, when you move that, you're gonna want, it's gonna to wanna to reboot to reset those ports into storage mode. So oftentimes what I'll do is set this module as all storage and this module is all ethernet and leave it that way. Or change, take half of this module for storage. Depends on what your setup is. This is a, that'd be a lot of storage ports if you weren't doing a um, multi-tenant setup with different storage arrays available. And the licensing, I think, is what 12 ports by default are licensed, and you have to license additional ports after that? That's correct, but this module also comes with uh, some ports licensed. Uh, I'm not sure if it's all the ports or eight ports but you definitely get some licenses with the add-on module. Um, other than that, you don't have many options. Uh, most of your options lie in your FEXs that you connect to these ports that go down to your, your 5108 chassis and in the server models and the mezzanine cards that you can buy for the servers as well as the CPU and memory options. But this is a, um, this is the this port side is the hot aisle side. This is the exhaust. So the cool, the cold air is pulled in from the power supply side and exhausted out here. This side is supposed to be in the hot aisle along with your server ports, or in this case, your UCS chassis fax ports would also face the hot aisle. And that's pretty much it. All right, this is our UCS 6248 UP unboxing. Thank you.